What's going on everybody? This is Dave from Steel City Drones. Today is definitely a big day in the drone industry. It's DJI Enterprise Announcement Day. These days don't come very often. When they do, they do come with big news that really impacts the entire drone industry. So we're here to give you all that information. We received a lot of bits and pieces of information over the past couple days. We saw the official announcement this morning at 8 a.m. And we're here to jump on this information to give it to you as soon as we possibly can. So there's a lot of stuff here. Let's get right into it. So DJI has finally announced that there is a new M300. The M300 is going to be one version only. So unlike the current 200 and 210s and 210 RTK, there is one version only. So there's a 300 and it has RTK on it. Now the great thing about that is you don't have to buy the extra base station on there. And it does come with a lower price point than we normally would think that it would be to start off with, which is definitely encouraging. Now, we're not sure if the RTK will have end-trip capabilities yet or not. We're assuming it's going to because that's the, every, the way everything's been going. But we're not, we can't confirm that yet. There's, there is still information that we're going to have to get more and, and pass that on to you. So, one version and it's going to be an RTK version as well. Now, let's get right into what everyone wants to know. Automatically, DJI has said... 55 minutes of flight time, up to 55 minutes. Now, that's going to be uh, our opinion. Going to have to be backed off a, a bit. Normally, DJI flight times are about 15%, a little more than they averagely come out to realistically. So we're anticipating up to about 48 minutes of flight time, what we're thinking at least. Also, you'll see on your screen with flight time, they're saying this is going to be anywhere between 31 and 55 minutes, depending upon your payload. So speaking of payload capability, we are now getting almost two times increase in payload, up to 2.7 kilograms of payload, which is just a little under six pounds. And right now we're about three and a quarter pounds maximum payload. So that's quite significant of an increase because they're also allowing us to go ahead and do up to three payloads simultaneously now. Previously, we could only do one on the top of the aircraft or two up to two at the, on the bottom of the aircraft. Now we can do up to three. So there's a lot more configurations of what we can do for payloads. The first thing right off the bat is LiDAR. That's what to me comes up. That's a lot of people been wanting to use LiDAR with the M200 and 210. And it's been very difficult to be able to do that. You need a really light sensor that doesn't have the greatest accuracy. So there's a lot of payload capabilities here. There's two new cameras that are here. They introduce what's called the Zenmuse H20. Now, there's two versions of this. There is a four camera in one package that's going to have a 640 resolution thermal camera. We believe it is not FLIR though. We have not confirmed that. We're getting that from good sources, but we're not quite sure yet. Also, there's a 12 megapixel RGB camera. There's also gonna be, which we're really excited about, is a 20 megapixel zoom camera. Now we're seeing on the specs that is up to 23 times optical zoom. And it also is going to go into a digital zoom. How far that's going to go down the line? Is it going to be 75? Is it going to be 100, 120? We're not quite sure yet. The specs are a little sketchy. We have to get more information on there. And another really cool feature is it's going to have a laser range finder so that you can use that if you have a point of interest that's say 1,200 feet away, you'll know exactly how far that point of interest is away from you currently. So that is something that's new, that's kind of cool as well. And the good news is that all of your current sensors that work in our, that on the Matrice 210, 200, they will work with the new platform. Other changes include much larger batteries on here. We're told they're called TB60 batteries. They are over two times the size of the TB55 batteries. And that's what's going to get us all that extra flight time that we need. And we're also told they're actually 
12S batteries. So some major payload on here. There is a new charging station for these batteries. We really are very happy to see that because DJI never came out with a charging station for the TB55 batteries. We've actually had to go out there and modify the existing battery chargers to accommodate the TB55 batteries. So we're very happy to see that. The new aircraft is going to be up to IP45 rated. So right now we're currently up to IP43 water resistance rating. So we're getting a little better water resistance rating on the new aircraft. Another really great feature that we're really excited about is dual vision obstacle sensors and cameras on all six sides of the aircraft for what's really going to change obstacle avoidance and take it to the new level. They're showing weaving in and out of different obstacles out of line of sight with really new cool OSD features in the app, new app. Uh, that's all coming up here. So a lot of great new features through that as far as the obstacle avoidance system that really is gonna take that to a next level. They're, they're advertising up to a 40 meter obstacle avoidance detection range. Another really cool new feature that we're very excited to see is called advanced dual operator mode. This is where a second remote pilot will be able to take control of the aircraft for further distance missions, such as if I'm flying and I'm flying the aircraft down about two miles away, now someone else that's much closer to where the aircraft currently is will be able to take control of that. There's also a really cool feature called AI spot check where you can go ahead and mark point of interest and then go ahead and be able to document the same exact thing and their aircraft will know exactly how to the height, the angles, the same framing and be able to take and uh, replicate the same type of pictures over and over again from one day to another. So for project progress, that is something that's really a cool feature. There's also high resolution grid photos that you can do as a batch with just a single tap on the app and it'll allow you to be able to do a large scene, photograph all of them and give you a lot of pictures all with one single touch of the screen. For search and rescue, if you found somebody, a point of interest on the ground and you want to be able to send the locations to your ground team, now you can go ahead and pinpoint that location on there and the aircraft will then send the locations to your ground team via the DJI Flight Hub app. There's also what's called Smart Track. We're gonna be able to go ahead and track moving objects a lot easier and from further distances. And then we'll be able to go ahead and send the location of that moving uh, point of interest down to ground control as well through the Flight Hub application as well. So as you can see, there's a lot of things going on with Flight Hub interaction. So there you go. That's what we know as of right now. So as more information becomes known, we'll definitely keep you updated as we go through this. But we wanted to get this out as soon as possible so that you know exactly what we have and what's coming down the pike. We're going to definitely be offering a lot of financing options, leasing options, and training options, definitely for sure. Our uh, equipment partners and vendors are going to be offering two years free financing for no, no interest at all. So we have those options that we can pass on to you if you're interested in that. We have you covered no matter what you need. So with that said, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us or make a comment down below. And thanks again. We'll talk to you soon. Stay safe out there. If you like this video and like to see more free videos in the future, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And while you're at it, if you're interested in free lessons on how to fly drones, discounts on drone equipment, discounts on insurance or access to our exclusive drone video library, check out our website, steelcityflightacademy.com.